Li Na Han Zhang, Zhang Jiao allies himself with Zhang Lu, another mystical leader. Together with the remaining yellow turbans, he attempts to start another rebellion. Determined to eliminate the yellow turbans once and for all, Liu Bei moves in to attack. Alright, so here is the first tale for Shu. Eliminate Zhang Jiao. And believe it or not, all the three kingdoms, Wei, Wu, and Shu, have six tails. And if I'm not mistaken, this one and another one that we're going to do later are in all three of the kingdoms. So it, the only difference really, if I'm not mistaken, is the conditions to unlock that said tail. For Shu, in this one, when we play the first act, we have to play the Yellow Term Rebellion first. It doesn't matter if we defeat Zhang Jiao in the Yellow Term Rebellion or have him retreat. We just have to skip the Yellow Term Mez and the Yellow Term Fortress and go straight into the Yellow Term Rebellion. So that's what we did in the last part and well, we got the tail and we're going to play it. So here we go. And I'm going to switch out my character again because I've always done that. You know, it's a broken record for me. So yeah. And there, if I'm not mistaken, there's only four characters left that has their level 3 weapon or their default uh, first weapon so to speak if you're thinking of Dynasty Warriors 3 and 5 and that's Pang Tung, Wei Yan, Huang Zhang, and Zhao Yun and um, I'm gonna play as Pang Tung with this one and uh, I got my reason for that so anyway let's do it so the equipment I don't even think we have to equip anything, nope. So we got that. Uh, objectives. Uh, we have to defeat Zhang Jiao and Zhang Lu to win. If Liu Bei is defeated, if I die, or if we run out of time, we lose. It's a game over. Plain and simple. Oh yeah, let me just show off the weapon one more time. So we have the Vision Staff. And if I'm not mistaken, it will turn into the Mirage Staff once we get the... Uh, weapon to uh, level 4. I'm hoping we get it to level 4. So, let's see here. Anyway, unit info. You got Liu Bei with Peng Tong as a, well, that's me anyway. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. And then the old turbans, you have Zhang Jiao with Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang. Pei Yuan Xiao, He Yi, and Bo Zhang. And obviously Zhang Lu will be here as well. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's do it. And I'll tell you right now, this is difficult. The first time I played it... You. Your task is to stall Zhang Lu's forces. Zhang Fei will circle to the rear and take the fortress. We will then use the fortress to stop Zhang Lu. Yeah, the first time I played the stage, it was fucking difficult. And I was playing co-op. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. We cannot afford to be stalled here. So what you want to do is, over time, Zhang Lu is going to appear. And you want to defeat him. However, there's a little problem. And I'll actually show you off the problem. And then, basically, have you... Well, not have you, but just tell you what you really need to do and connect the dots. Ooh, speed shoes. So I'm just going to go up here and defeat Bo Zhang. And Zhang Lu is here. And we want to defeat Bo Zhang. And He Yi. And he's down. Well, what do you know? And if we defeat them, then we'll actually stop the attack. Well, we'll actually close the gate, so that'll help. But um, I'm going to defeat Zhang Lu here, or well, technically defeat him. But I think well, anyone that knows this game is going to know what happens next. So. Well, before we even get there. Oh, 
So I'll defeat him one time, and hopefully that'll be enough. That way I can actually show you what happens. So yeah, pretty much when you defeat Zhang Lu, another one will appear, and they won't stop appearing until you defeat every single one of Zhang Lu's troops. Then you'll find the real one, and then... Yeah, then after the real one appears and you defeat him, he's gone. And like Liu Bei said, you do not want him and Zhang Jiao to unite and cause destruction because they will cause fucking destru uh, destru destruction that um if those two well I'll say this if you manage to defeat Zhang Lu in time no matter what happens Zhang Jia will cause some type of sorcery and if you successfully defeat Zhang Lu then Yeah. Can't be Dynasty Warriors without Zhang Bao causing a rock slide. I mean, he's been doing that since Dynasty Warriors too, so why not, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So basically, if you defeat Zhang Lu, successfully defeat him, then Zhang Jiao will do the sorcery without him. And the sorcery is basically to brainwash your troops. And he will only brainwash a slightly decent amount of troops. However, if you fail to defeat Zhang Lu before he meets up with Zhang Jiao, and if those two unite, this sorcery is a lot more powerful and pretty much not on well, basically not only all of your troops will be brainwashed, but both well, depending if you're playing as them, every single person, including Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, will be brainwashed and start attacking you. And the only person that's really left is Liu Bei. And obviously he won't be brainwashed. And I don't know what the fuck Zhang Fei is doing over there. And that's not funny. That was fucking weird. But anyway, we'll defeat Zhang Bao. He's not as powerful as he was in the old term rebellion because he's not a general. Anyway, we'll defeat Pei Yuan Xiao and close the gate. There we go, and I did not get that kill this time, unfortunately. But we can still close the gate. And like I said before, we need to make sure that all of Zhang Lu's troops get wiped out. So we have to defeat Zhang Lu every single time, and not defeat Zhang Lu in general. Because if we defeat Zhang Lu, then we're fucked. Well, there might be a time where he actually teleports to the other side, and then we're really fucked. I mean, we actually got there in time, but we do not want him to meet up with uh, Zhang Jiao, obviously. So, you have to defeat each and every Zhang Lu troop one by one. And then, well, you know the rest. And so far, so good, believe it or not. I was, I was gonna say, is Guan Yu here too? Awesome, but uh, no, it's only Zhang Fei. This will help big time. Alright, that's all of them. So now we'll find the real Zhang Lu. And now we'll fight him and defeat him, and then that will stop the uh, sorcery to be as strong as it should be, and we won't have to worry about that really, if that made any fucking sense. Basically, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei won't be brainwashed. But, uh, yeah.
And there's actually a special cutscene if they actually do uh, meet up. And that's the problem. Well, the problem if that happens. But it's not happening. It won't happen now. I have no choice. You see? What is this? Could it be sorcery? So, it's a fair amount of troops. There's still troops under their forces, but uh, they're still under our forces, under Liu Bei's forces. And I, I just said it a while ago, but I'll say it again. If we allow Zheng Lu and Zheng Jiao to shit, let's not defeat them. <laughs> you can if you want to, but there's a way to stop it. You have to defeat, well, destroy the three cauldrons, and uh, that'll actually bring them back to reality. So, anyway. I've heard such magic requires ceremony. If we destroy the ceremonial implements. But yeah, if you defeated, well, if you allow Zhang Lu to meet up with Zhang Jiao, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei will both be brainwashed as well, and that would be major problems, as well as the remaining of the troops. But anyway, so we have to defeat three cauldrons, so to speak. There's three of them here, so we have to destroy all three of them. And uh, the first time I actually play this stage, I actually allowed them to uh you know join up and have that happen because I didn't even know what the hell I was doing back then but fortunately it was only Zhang Fei just for the fact that one of us was playing as Liu Bei and the other one was playing as Guan Yu so that kind of helped out to a degree because obviously you can't uh the spell is broken. Head for Zhang Zhao. you can't brainwash a playable character well a uh character, well, so to speak, you can't really brainwash the second player. <laughs> you know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, we just got the Musu Wine, and we're going to go for the Dim Sum. But we'll defeat Zhang Liang first before anything. You can actually allow them to let that magic happen to let uh, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, or whoever it may be, because it's also for Wei and Wu. And defeat them both to get weapon experience, but uh, I'm not going to do that because I do not want to screw up. Because when I played it, when I did it with my cousin, we actually lost, and uh, and it was actually my doing why we fucked up. So I'm not doing it here. And yes, it's the same cousin that helped me out with the trick with the Namon campaign. So there we go. So we got them both, and now I could just go for Zhang Jiao if I wanted to, but um, I'm going to secure a few gates. I'm going to secure this gate first. So that's one. And then we'll secure the gate by Zhang Jiao, and then finish it off. Like I said, this stage, you know, if you know what you're doing, I don't even know if I said that, but I'll say it here. If you know what you're doing, then this stage shouldn't be a problem. But if you don't know what you're doing, and you're going to just try to defeat Zhang Lu every single fucking time, then he'll eventually teleport. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know exactly where he teleports to, but if I'm not mistaken, he will bypass everybody. Either that or go through the left, one of the two. It's been a long time since I've actually played this stage. So, and the only time I let that happen, that was my cousin. And after that, I've never let that happen since. Because they actually kind of spooked me the fuck out. And remember, I was only like, what, 12 years old when it happened, so. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Anyway, we secured the gates that I wanted to secure. And now we'll go and uh, defeat Zheng Jia. Because, uh, why not? And we'll stay away from here because you already see the lags happening, so... 
Anyway. Okay, so far so good. The lag's still happening, but you know, I can make do for a bit. Alright, so far so good. And goodbye. My spirit shall prevail in the heavens. And that's a win. All right. So with all that said, I mean, it didn't really take long. We only did it in 12 and change, which isn't half bad. So yeah. Anyway, Peacock earned level two, and that's it. Nothing really special. So we defeated pretty much everybody, with the exception of Pay One Shao. Uh, you know, we, we only got 126 KOs, we only got 79 points because of it, and we should have probably, yeah, only 3,000 points, well, 3,029, who's counting the details, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we finally got Pung Tung's ranked to level 12, well, 11 now, and we could actually equip a fourth item and we have his second costume and uh yeah so there you go and we have gotten the level four weapon or the second weapon depending on which way you're referring it to when it comes to dynasty warriors it could be level four for dynasty warriors four or the second weapon for dynasty warriors three and five but all in all we've got that weapon, the Mirage Staff, and there's one more after that once we hit level 7, but that's a while from here, so yeah. Anyway, and we got our, oh, we only 59 points shy from maxing out the bodyguards, but with all I said, that's enough for now. We'll save. And believe it or not, I'm actually going to use a different save file. I have my reason for it. But, uh, trust me, I know what I'm doing here. So, anyway, there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part. We will take on the next act. And if I'm not mistaken, that we're going to be doing... The battle hulao gate right out of the gate. No pun intended. But anyway, peace out.